My name is Rachel Webb. My name is Lewis Texera. My name is Catherine Nguyen. I went to Mirabuka Senior High School. I went to Gurren Singh High School. I'm studying third year architecture at EWA. So I'm in my third year, hopefully fourth year after these exams. My first impressions, um, it was really big. Coming from Gurreen, I was the only student that year that went to UWA, so I had no friends to start off with. If you just start talking to them, they'll start talking to you, and then all of a sudden you've got a new friend. You have one friend, then two friends, and it just exponentially grows. It's not something that you try and do, it's just something that just happens naturally. And then we all become friends and we all hang out outside of uni as well as kind of doing stuff inside of uni. The first time I came here, I fell in love with it. All the facilities are really, really good. It's close to the city, so it's nice. It's, you've got plenty of tr public transport. Easy to get to if you're driving as well. You know, we go down to the cafe and we have a cup of coffee. Sit down and have the Wi-Fi in the middle of the oval and, and watch a lecture there or something. You just meet a whole diverse range of people. Oh, there's, yeah, there's people from everywhere. Yeah, I, I do work, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a, a nice balance to have a break from uni and, and go to work and a break from work and go to uni. The independence is the biggest change. You're, you're the master of your own life, basically. It's just really free here. It makes it a lot easier to study because you're really interested in what you're learning. Yeah, looking from the outside, you don't really see how much stuff goes into kind of being a uni student. The workload, I'd say it's a lot, but um, it's manageable. You won't go crazy. <laughs> so they understand that you, know, you do have a life outside university. And once you know um, what your workload's like and, and everything, you can strike a bit more of a balance. It's just down to your commitment to the course and how much work you want to put in because whatever you put in, that's how much you get out of it. The most important thing I'd say is to keep up because it's a lot easier to keep up with it week to week than it is to try and madly catch up in the last week before exams. It's easily achievable. It was really easy to change course, um, to speak to someone at the science office and changed over and Day. There is a lot of flexibility. You can construct a timetable just to um, suit your um, preferences. And which I think is very different from high school. You know, you've got, you go to class and you've got recess and you go to class and you've got lunch and you go to class. Whereas here it's like, oh, you've got a class and then like a five hour break. At uni you will find that we can do broadening units. It's really cool because you can study, say, human relations in business and you can take it a broadening unit in French. Um, it's it's great. <laughs> I love it. I, I have absolute passion for it and if I didn't have that passion, I wouldn't be happy. It's not just about the practical stuff, it, they teach you how to think. Yeah, um, not only are you going to get a degree from it, you'll meet some great friends and um, learn a lot about yourself and your capabilities too. You know, you have so much fun that time passes so quickly. I feel like if I choose to go overseas, my degree will be recognised there as well. I want to work in the hospital, I want to help people. That's actually my dream one day, to be a Nobel Laureate. Hopefully in the future, I want to start my own firm up. You know, one day I just want to see that building up on the skyline and say that's mine. Kind of me coming to uni, my like younger cousins and sisters and brothers will kind of see that you know, Fink has done it, so you know, I can do that. I'd say, yeah, work hard. Um, if it's your dream, follow it and set yourself goals and then work really hard to get there because it's all worth it in the end. Work hard, don't be afraid to ask for help. Ask your teacher lots of questions, put in the effort. Once you're in, the, the freedom and the flexibility is, is so great that you could go anywhere from there, you could study anything you like. Whatever you put your mind to, you can achieve. Don't think that you can't do it because it's too hard. You can do it. And once you get into uni, like no one cares what you got on your TE or your waist. I think just like when you're in year 12, you've got to put the work in, but the end effort is worth it. Put it trust me, put in the effort now while you're, while you're at school. You will love it so much when you get here. You won't know what you're missing out unless you've come to university and you know, have a go at it. It's hard, but you know, if you've got the passion, you can do it.